The Music Theater of Madison's upcoming production is a modern take on the holiday classic, The Little Matchstick Girl. Our Michael Bruno recently went backstage at Striking 12. Hi, Michael. Hi. Michael. Hi. So what is this show about? Uh, well, it was originally done by this group out of New York called uh, Groove Lily, and it was their way of doing an annual uh, New Year's Eve show. And now they uh, franchised it. Music Theater of Madison is known for doing these avant-garde musicals that no one ever really does on the big stage. And they got a grant to do these in different libraries across oh, town. Wow. Uh, and then they're also going to be doing two live shows at the brink for uh, the holidays. So it's basically, it's loosely based on Little Matchstick Girl. And, it's, and the musicians actually have to act and play instruments and sing in the show. Wow, that's so impressive. So they have to be a triple threat for the show. Let's go backstage and check it out. Great. Tell me about the concept of the show. It is very unusual. It was actually conceived by a group of, or by a band, by three people, um, and it's a storytelling jam session kind of thing, and it's sort of a modernized version of Hans Christian Andersen's The Little Match Girl. We have a character who is a SAD light seller, S-A-D, Seasonal Affective Disorder, those lights that you are supposed to shine on you and give you the idea of being in the sun and take away the SAD. Um, so she sells those lights and um, she is referred to as the little light seller as in uh, she was saying oh it's a literary reference to the little match girl and our main character is like oh I haven't really I don't really remember that story let me go back and read that again and then in that we get to hear the story of the little match girl well my character in this show is uh, a man who's had enough of parties has had enough of the holidays uh, by the time December 31st rolls around. So he doesn't want to go out, he doesn't want to party, he just wants to stay inside and have a quiet night alone on New Year's Eve. Daylight, I to stay This is not uh, the type of music that you would think of going to a musical of like Rodgers and Hammerstein and Lerner and Lowe. Um, this is actually more of folk rock is the style that I would put it in most closely. Um, and a little bit of pop in there as well. We actually have a blues song, which is really cool. So there's a nice mix of genres in the music. And all your actors have to play the instruments as well, right? Yes, so my actors are doing like triple duty on this show, which makes it definitely challenging, but also really special. So um, they are playing our instruments, and they are also singing all the songs, and they are acting. I have never been on stage like this before. I play in bands around the area. I get hired to play on albums with my violin. I have a recording studio and things like that, so I'm primarily a musician. But for me, it was learning to memorize dialogue. That was a really big thing for me. And to have it be, fortunately, the Jack character is similar to my personality. I'm very hospitable and we always have people over and it's kind of my thing to be like, come on, get off your butt, let's, let's hang out, come over, we'll feed you, it'll be fine. You'll, you'll enjoy yourself somehow, right? Striking 12 is playing in several different locations. A free performance takes place on Thursday at the Central Library and a pair of ticketed shows at the Brink Lounge wrap up the run on December 29th and 30th. Head to mtmadison.com for tickets and more information. It's very interesting. Some versatile performers there. They got yeah, they're amazing. On. They have to do all that stuff and learn their lines and play the instruments and sing at the same yeah, time. That's something. Now, are, are those the extra shows you were mentioning? Those are the three extra shows, yeah. Okay. They've been doing shows previously in the libraries, and they'll do one more at the Central Library and then two at the Brink Lounge before New Year's. Oh, very interesting.
Good stuff. All right, next week is Christmas Eve Eve. Well, we'll maybe have a special for Christmas Eve Eve. I don't know. <laughs> right. Santa may bring something to me. I have no idea what it is, but we'll think of something. <laughs> we'll come up with something. All right, you travel safe out we there. We will, yeah. Be safe right. out there. Yeah, it's thanks pretty for coming bad. in this afternoon. Absolutely. Right. Appreciate Good to see you, Bruno.